Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss what is sign rule and we will also prove the sign rule. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. So let us first discuss the theorem for the sign rule. So for that we have taken a simple triangle ABC and the lengths of the sides will be A opposite to the angle A b opposite to the angle b and c opposite to the angle c. So the theorem of the sine rule is as follows. The sides of a triangle are proportional to the sine of angle opposite to them. So according to this theorem I can say that a by sine a is equal to b by sine b is equal to c by sine c. Now this can be also written in reverse. Sine a by a is equal to sine b by b is also equal to sin c by c. So we can represent sine rule mathematically with either of these two expressions. So for proving the sine rule let's drop two perpendiculars one bd on the side ac and one ae on the side bc. Now since these two are perpendiculars the angle will be 90 degree. And let's take the lengths of bd and ae h and h1 respectively. So the length of BD is equal to H and the length of AE is equal to H1. Now in the triangle AEB we can apply the concept of trigonometry and calculate the value of sin B. So we know that sin of any angle is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. So in the triangle ABE the perpendicular is equal to H1 and the hypotenuse is C. So sin B is equal to H1 by C which implies that H1 is equal to C sin B. Now by using the same concept in the triangle AEC, we can calculate the value of sin C. So sin C will be equal to H1 by B, which implies that H1 is equal to B sin C. So we have got two values for H1 which are C sin B and B sin C respectively, which can also be written as C by sin C is equal to B by sin B. Now by applying the same concept in the triangle ABD and BDC respectively, we will get C by sin C is equal to A by sin A. So altogether we can say that C by sin C is equal to A by sin A is equal to B by sin B. So thus we have proved the sine rule. Now let's solve a simple problem on this topic that will strengthen your concept. Now according to a given problem, we are given a triangle ABC in which the lengths of the side AC and BC are given as 12 and 7 respectively and the value of angle A is equal to 15 degree and we have to calculate the value of angle B which is given as X degree. Now this question is direct application of sine rule we can simply apply A by sine A is equal to B by sine B. Now in this question the value of A is equal to 7 and the value of sin A is equal to sin 15 degree. The value of B is equal to 12 and sin B is equal to sin X. Now in application of sin rule we have got that 7 by sin 15 is equal to 12 by sin X degree. So we can say that sin X is equal to 12 into sin 15 whole divided by 7. Now in calculation this value comes out to be 0.443 so we can say that sin x is equal to 0.443. Now we know that if sin x is equal to y then x is equal to sin inverse of y. So the value of x is equal to sin inverse 0.443. Now upon calculation this value comes out to be 26.3 degree approximately. So the value of x for our question is equal to 26.3 degree. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. 
And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy. Oh,